Today, I want to talk to you from Hosea chapter 3, verse 1, and really about choosing a difficult kind of love. Check this out, Hosea chapter 3, verse 1, where we read this. Then the Lord said to me, go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover and is committing adultery, just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel who look to other gods and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. You know, God loves you. Perhaps you've heard it or read those words a thousand or more times, and after a while, they begin to lose their impact. They become just three words on a page that no longer really amaze you. Now, God knows all about this tendency within us. He knows our frame. He remembers that we are only dust. So, God sends prophets to present the message to us in new and powerful ways. When God told Hosea in Hosea chapter 3, verse 1, go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover and is committing adultery, he directed Hosea to go back to his wife even though she was still committing adultery. It wasn't in the past. It was in the present. Yet he was still commanded to go back to her and to love her. Now, we learn two important principles from this. Number one, Hosea stayed true to his marriage and did not divorce his wife, even though she was clearly guilty of adultery. This shows us that even though Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 1, and Matthew chapter 19, verses 7 and 8, permit divorce when adultery breaks the marriage union, those passages by no mean command divorce. Permission to divorce is not a command to divorce. And God's people need to understand that. Secondly, it shows us an important principle about love. Hosea was directed to love his wife even when it must have been very difficult to do. One of the illusions that we have about love is that love has very little to do with our will. But, but you see, in principle, the scriptures show us that love is largely a matter of the will. And when we direct ourselves to love someone that God tells us to love, it can happen and it will happen. Your feelings don't justify a lack of love towards God. When the Bible tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, it directs the command towards our will. No matter what your feelings are, you can choose to love God today. That's why he told Hosea, just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel. You see, this explains why God commanded Hosea to go back to his still unfaithful wife. It was not only for the sake of Hosea and his wife Gomer, but also so that they would become a living lesson of the Lord's relationship with his people. Israel was still steeped in spiritual adultery, yet God still loved them. Choice is the missing element in the way that many people love God and the way that they love others. You see, they want to be swept away by feelings, and instead, we are responsible to make the choice and then to expect that the feelings will follow. Now, if this seems like too much to expect of you, think of the greatness of God's love and compassion towards you. That alone should make you much more loving, compassionate, and forgiving towards others. And so today, you can receive God's love and then ask God for the strength to help you to be more loving and to choose to love others.